Welcome to the Viva Vegan Minisode with me, Faye. And me, Erin. So we are, as you can see, uh, in a camper van, <laughs> live from Vegan Camp Out 2024. And this is not Rachel. So to all of you watching, Erin, would you like to just introduce yourself? Hi, my name's Erin. So for those who don't know, I'm a campaigner in Viva's Central Campaigns team. So I work on lots of different campaigns across the board at the moment. My main thing is 50 for Our Planet, which is our new environment campaign, as well as working on the Are You an Animal Lover campaign. But yeah, I'm really excited to be here and it should be good. I'm really enjoying vegan camp out. Yeah, me too. I, if you can hear, there's some loud sort of emo, screamo, angry band playing, which yeah, you know, I'm, I'm at home with. Well. <laughs> yeah, which I like. I feel that's the psyche after this weekend. Yeah, definitely. It's been great. We've been chatting to so many different people. We've been speaking to Chris Packham. Yeah, you've had a great interview with him, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, we've got political, which is always fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we've spoken to Dr. Michael Greger. Yeah, he's great. I saw a bit of his talk yesterday. It looked really, really good. But yeah, you seem to have an interesting conversation with him as well. Absolutely, and Aaron here ran after him with his jacket. I did, yeah. He came to do a meet and greet at the Viva store. We had a queue that went all across the entire campsite, but unfortunately he didn't make it through the whole queue. But it looked like everyone who got to see him was really good. But yeah, he did forget his jacket at the end, <laughs> so I did have to chase him across a grass field, and he was so good busy taking selfies that he almost didn't come and get it. And it's this kind of celebrity insight that you're going to get from, oh, from yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> the backstage gossip. Yeah. He's a real celebrity among the vegan community. I mean, why wouldn't you be with that many books? Yeah. All telling them they're doing the right thing. It's only slightly culty. How not to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we spoke to the happy pair who were fabulous and obviously yeah. being the man magnet that I am, I got a kiss on the cheek from both. Truly yeah. beautiful picture, which I'm sure you'll see somewhere on socials. Yeah. <laughs> Spoke to Mike the Vegan from all the way from Iowa. Mm -hmm. um, fun fact, the only fun fact I know about Iowa, it's where Slipknot are from. <laughs> I did see that on your podcast notes. And yeah, did he respond well to it or you didn't let him know? Didn't bring it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> nothing on the notes came up. And God, who else? I don't know, loads of other people. The only person we didn't get to speak to was Simon Amstel, although once again, Aaron has a celeb story. Yeah, very well. When I was coming over here to film the podcast, I came out the back of the tent and he thought I was a member of staff. He came up to me and asked me where it was meant to go and I haven't actually watched Carnage, so I didn't know who he was and kind of just directed him roughly in the direction of the green room. So I hope he did find it, but if not, I'm really sorry, Simon. It's a nice crowd out there and I'm sure you'll find someone in the field to look after you, but I wasn't the one. <laughs> I can't believe you would know from, never mind the bub, the buzzcocks. No, right? oh. unfortunately it's not in my generation. <laughs> oh, this is going to be awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, for the 30th anniversary, Viva had an after party last night. Yeah. How did that go, Erin? It looked okay. You know, it was a techno <laughs> set. It looked like quite a few people came out. I did see that Juliet went and had a boogie though. So, I mean, really. <laughs> a boogie? A boogie. Is that your generation? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like she enjoyed herself. It looked like everyone else that went there enjoyed herself as well. But yeah, it looked good. Nice. And yeah, you, you were there for some of the talks as well, weren't you? Yeah, so she did a talk yesterday, um, which looked really good. And then she did one again today, which was called um, David and Goliath, I think. It was talking about the power of the meat industry and how we're fighting against it um, on the vegan front and all of the lies that are sent out to people. She got a standing ovation at the end, so lots and lots of good stuff. Spoke about some of the adverts that Viva have been doing and also all the work we've been doing over the last 30 years. So it was things like the Muller Killer advert got shown. Really? That was went up absolutely... Uh, of house fire everyone yeah. loved it <laughs> <laughs> everyone loves that lovely. everyone loved it it was really good you know it exposed all the lies and hit the nail right on the head and then tony's also got a talk um later on today i believe which is his dairy beef and bullshit one mm. which again i think is a classic for tony so, i think he's done it quite a few times but crowd pleaser yeah always goes down well and then yeah i think juliet and him also have a q a later today for the 30th anniversary where they're talking all things viva and how it's grown over the last 30 years which should be really good. Yeah, and Laura and Joe as well did a talk. Yeah, they did one on action into passion, I think, which was about activism and how to keep yourself safe whilst in the movement. And also just how to look after yourself, you know, whilst promoting um, all good things vegan, but also dealing with so much, you know, pushback from other people and just, I guess, all the mental struggles that come with working for such a passionate cause. Amazing. And since, you've, since we've got you here, Erin, uh, are there any kind of campaigns at the moment that you're working on that people should be looking out for? Yeah, of course. So I'm helping on the Are You an Animal Lover campaign. You guys might have seen the amazing dog roast that we did a couple of weeks ago at Headway. <laughs> so that was to kick off the official new campaign, Are You an Animal Lover, which I'm really excited about. We're also going to be going on a great hot dog tour this summer. So if you're in any of the cities up north or 
down south, look out on our social medias for where we're going. We're going to be giving away free hot dogs, which is great, and also educating people about pigs in the industry and also all animals, to be honest. There's just a big focus on pigs, especially with things like pignorant, you know, talking about CO2 gassing. So we're going to be focusing on that. And then also we've got our 50 for the planet campaign, which is all things environment, where we're trying to get restaurants to go 50% plant-based for our planet. But yeah, those are the main ones that I'm working on. Fab. Yeah, so it's a pretty heavy beaver mini serve this month. Mm -hmm. um, but you've now met Erin yeah. and uh, heard her everyone. incredible backstage stories. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be back next month just kind of talking a bit more generally about news in the vegan world and, of course, throwing in more beaver yeah. tidbits. We'll find out if the temporary tattoos were indeed causing itchy. <laughs> <laughs> the more horror stories from the beaver stall, but it's just all good. They look wonderful. Everyone seemed to love it. Just a couple of us came out a little bit rashy. But I, yeah. maybe you just need to clean more. Every maybe. Day. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. And yeah, we'll speak to you next month. Yeah, speak to you then. Take care. Bye.